Happy New Year and welcome to the first episode of 2024 from Journey to the Chateau. Bonne année, bonsoir à tous, bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Cologne. Und nun zu unseren Freunden aus dem deutschsprachigen Raum. Frohes neues Jahr, erste Episode uh, von Journey to the Chateau. Herzlich willkommen. Yeah, so Happy New Year, yes. 2024. So yeah, our first vlog of the year and we were busy over the weekend. A little. Yes, we uh, once again this year we hosted a New Year's Eve party here at the Chateau. It was great. Yes, and we sort of decided that instead of doing a formal sit down, that we were going to do something a bit different, and so we did a sort of evening of appetizers. Yes, it was a lot of fun. Okay, we're prepping for New Year's Eve. It's a lot of fun. Um, Florence is running around. Uh, everyone's bringing a dish that's so uh, going to be fantastic because it's always lovely to eat what other people uh, have as appetizers. And Jojo is fantastic. Claire can cook up a storm, and Jane, of course, is a fantastic cook. And we've had so many dinners lately at uh, Tony and John's house. Tony and John. <laughs> Good morning. Wow. <laughs> Way to mix your couples. <laughs> Claire and Tony, maybe. I don't yes. know. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Tony and, and Jane. And Jane, and Jane is, is really such a fantastic cook. In any case, so we're just showing two quick dishes. One is going to be uh, salmon en croûte. But I think I'm going to make it in puff pastry. It's salmon with pre-sautéed onions and leek and carrot and... Uh, celery sticks, cel cel um, celery, very finely chopped, butter, uh, a little bit of cream, pepper and salt, and then you just uh, let that saute for about 10 minutes. It's done adding, uh, adding it on top of the salmon, uh, closing it up, poking some holes. 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20, depending on how hot your oven is. And it's done and it can be eaten hot or at room temperature. So that's really, really cool. The other one uh, recipe we're making today is goat cheese tartlets with caramelized onions. Um, that's something that we have had for many, many parties and always homemade at, at the United States. Right. So we're going to show you that too. Hello there. <laughs> I'm sauteing the onions for our tartlets and they're really quite delicious. I can highly recommend them. They are vegetarian, so meaning there is no an actual meat in there, but they're not vegan because it has butter in it. It has uh, goat cheese in it. So it's a vegetarian dish. Uh, oh, eggs and cheese. So definitely not vegan, but it is uh, completely fine for vegetarians and people who are carnivores or eat omnivores like me and of course uh, pescatarians, which are people who eat no meat, but they will eat fish. So I have this on my small burner right now on high because uh, the onions, now we want to caramelize them. So I'm letting them really come to a nice boil, but then they're going to be on low for 20 minutes. Uh, they will turn quite 
brown, but they should not burn. You don't want the burn taste. The brown taste come, uh, uh, color comes naturally, but you do not want them burned. So caramelized is different from burned onion. So be very careful. Uh, this is not difficult. It just means um, scattered brain people like me uh, have to remember that they need to stir more often. Anyways, I'm gonna show that when we are further along. So this is a little update. As you can see, it is getting a bit darker. I also had a discussion with Stuart and we had leftover leeks, uh, or poireau in French. And um, I chopped the white part of one very fine and added it in so that's, so you see a little bit, it's a little bit lighter now. Uh, it will get darker in the next 10 minutes, but so it's a gas stove and I prefer to call, uh, cook on gas, but we have also electric burners, which I use. Um, so with electric, you need to be a bit, it's different, you need to be careful. So I have a diffuser underneath there. And now, since it is getting darker, I'm gonna turn this on to low and it will cook for another about 10 minutes. Uh, you can add wine, I added, oh, just like two shot glasses worth of white wine. Uh, or vermouth uh, is an option, so whatever you like. And I'm gonna show you now what Stuart is doing. Hello, what Hello. are you doing? Hello, I am putting uh, the pastry into, this is for the little tartlets, and I'm putting the pastry in here, and then we're gonna be adding the caramelized onions and the goat cheese in here. Oh, hello. Little interruption. Now, I know there are some of you who do not like this clock. Uh, we love it. Uh, and what kind of pastry are we using? Uh, this is a puff pastry, correct? Yep. Yes. So, Stuart is doing that. Uh, the, before you put the onions in, they need to be cooled down. So, if Stuart is done before the onions are cooled down, and the likelihood is about 100%. Good done. Uh, we put the puff pastry in the fridge. You don't want, because otherwise you get saggy bottoms and that's not right, pretty. Right, right. It's got butter in it and then you don't want that to start melting out. So you no. need to keep it refrigerated. So there, so we are way on our way. So this is salmon en croûte or saumon. So this is salmon in pieces. And So we add a whole bunch of the pre-cooked vegetables. And they, ha they have to be cooled down because otherwise your puff pastry melts and you won't have puff pastry, you will have just mush pastry and that's not pretty. I learned the hard way. Add just a little bit more pepper. And that's it.
So it's a little egg wash. All this does is it gives some color. That's no taste, no nothing. Oh, I just removed the eye. That's not good. Anyways, in the oven for about 30 minutes. Now, we did get finally to bed at about 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of laughter, and uh, Jojo actually texted me the next day and she said, my ribcage is hurting because we laughed so much. So it was fantastic. Yes, it was. So one other thing that we did uh, before the hol right before the holidays was we met up with, fr with friends to go to an antique fair. Yep. In Minute to Salon.
We did not spend a single euro at that antique market. <laughs> not one. We didn't. No. Yeah. And that's uh, and we've been to those before. Those are uh, you, you know you pay a small fee to get in, mm -hmm. and uh, it's usually uh, more high end. It's not like a brocante. No. It's much more high end, and the prices are actually sort of high too. So. But it, uh, we got a beautiful set of Christoph Sterling silver there previously. Yeah. Uh, very. Mm -hmm reasonably priced and actually it was cheaper than the silver price was right so right. uh and the knife rests um so get so you, you can get sometimes lucky you find something nice and it's actually really fun to go and look at all these things like the these vases with that sparkling glass that mm -hmm. i've been to those antique fairs for the, for what 40 years and i've never seen that kind of glass so it's really fascinating but yeah. it's great yeah but we are back to renovating, we started. Right, and we are going to be talking about the next phase that we're doing for the bed and breakfast room. We'll talk about that on Friday. Last last renovation for that room. It is, yes. I mean, it's the last step of the renovation, I should say. Right, right, so that's it for this episode. If you like, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe and recommend us to your friends. Subscribing doesn't cost anything, but it helps us tremendously. And if you want to support the renovation of the chateau, you can join us on Patreon. Or buy us a coffee. And we will see you on Friday. And thank you for your support. Au revoir. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. Happy New Year. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.